good morning students and welcome to today's maths class all right so in the last class we started with numbers and we did a quick warm up activity and what all you have studied at fourth standard so now in today's class we will be studying something called uh, large numbers and comparing of numbers all right so let's uh, start with today's class so numbers so what all do we what are numbers first of all numbers are mathematical tools uh, or objects which are used to count measure and label okay okay so they are mathematical objects which are used to count measure or label something now now numbers are used everywhere around us okay so knowing numbers helps in counting large numbers representing them through numerals numbers also help us in communicating through suitable numbers and to count concrete objects okay then we have something called the place value chart for place value chart we have something called indian numeral system and then international numeral system first let's see what is international indian numeral system so in indian numeral system we have ones tens and hundreds and this is one period under ones okay ones is one period thousands lakhs and crores these are the different periods in a place value chart and each uh, period has three different uh, each period has different place values so under ones we have ones tens and hundreds under thousands we have thousands and ten thousands under lakhs we have lakhs ten lakhs and under crores we have crores and ten crores okay so these are this is a place value chart till ten crores so we have ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousands lakhs ten lakhs crores and ten crores okay then now for example here if i take this number okay if i take this number and place it in the place value chart as it is so from the left hand side if i'm starting i'll start with one and place it in the 10 crores place so after placing all the digits in the place uh, place value chart the number will be now you read the numbers like this 1 and 12 are in the crores period right so you read it as 12 crores then 45 is under lakhs so 45 lakhs thousands place we have 57 so that will be 57000 and in ones place we have 6 3 and 1 so that will be 631 okay so we have 12 crores 45 lakhs 57000 and 631 this is how you read this number okay so these are some large numbers in indian numeral system then coming to international numeral system we have instead of uh, up to 10000 it is the same okay but in thousands place we also have one more place value that is 100000 that is equivalent to 1 lakh in indian numeral system so instead of 1 lakh we use 100000 in the international numeral system and after 100000 that is 1 lakh we have million which is equivalent to 10 lakhs in the indian uh, numeral system and then 10 million which is equivalent to 1 crore so we, uh, the three different periods here are ones thousand and millions so in ones we have ones tens and hundreds under thousands i have thousand ten thousand and hundred thousand and under million i have million and ten millions so now let's see an example now here is uh, a number when i place this number in the place value chart okay so when i write it down i'll have 14 millions then 532 thousands because it's another thousand period then in once we have 467 so 467 so this number is read as 14 million 462467 so this is how you read the number okay now let's solve some exam uh, questions on this uh, numeral system and place value chart of large numbers okay so large numbers now as i showed you a place value chart ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand lakhs ten lakhs crores and ten crores in indian system then in international system we have ones tens hundreds thousand ten thousand hundred thousand instead of lakhs millions in uh, instead of ten lakhs uh, and sorry yeah millions in place of ten lakhs ten millions in place of one crore and hundred millions in place of ten crores okay now how to place commas in international and indian numeral system now when they've given you a number okay and if they ask you to place commas according to indian numeral system then what you'll do you'll put a comma after 
first after the once period that is after the uh, right three digits from right okay then after every two places you put a comma because we put a comma after every period so after, uh, first period has three places second has two two and two so on so we'll pay, place a comma after three then two and two see here if you see this number over here you can see nine uh, they've placed a comma after uh, three two and one then after every two digits okay but in international place value chart each period has three places so we'll place a comma after every three digits okay so let's see some examples on these okay so let's solve exercise 1.1 so now first question in exercise 1.1 is insert commas according to Indian system and write the number names. Okay, so they've told us to insert commas and write number names. Now what we'll do here is, first we'll insert the commas. Now according to Indian system, so according to Indian system, for first number I'll place a comma after three digits, then after every two digits. So, I'll place a comma before 4 and before 0. Okay, so it will be something like this. Since there is no place, I'll type all the numbers above. Okay, so 7, comma, 0, 1, comma, 3, uh, 4, 3, 8. Okay, so this is how you place the commas. And the number name here will be, so what is the place value of 7? It is lakhs. So, we'll write it as 7 lakhs. Okay, 7 lakhs, then there's nothing in 10,000 place. So, only just 1 in 1,000 place. So, 7 lakhs, 1,438. Okay, 438. So, this is the answer for the first question. That is, 7 lakhs, 1,438 is the answer for question number B. Okay, copy it down fast and then we'll move on to question number B. Then, so question B here, we have the uh, numbers 3610415. Right, so now how to place the commas? So we'll place a comma before 4 first. Okay, so here we'll place comma like this. So 36 comma 0 1 sorry 10 0 comma 415 okay so we have 36 lakhs 10415 so the number of name will be 36 lakhs 10415 okay so this is the answer for question b copy down the answer please now moving on to question number C. So question C here again we will write the numbers like this 89, 23, 1120 is a number. Correct. So we will place the values, uh, place the commas like this. Okay. So we place the commas. Now to write the number names, we will start with 89. So, 89 is in the crores period. So, that will be 89 crores. 89 crores. 92 lakhs. 92 lakhs. 31,000. Thirty-one thousand uh, one hundred twenty. Okay, one hundred twenty is the answer for question C. So we read the number as eighty-nine crores ninety-two lakhs thirty-one thousand one twenty. Okay. So after writing this down, we'll move on to question number D. So question D here, we have sixty, comma fifty-eight comma 192 so this is how we place the commas then we write the number name as 60 lakhs 60 lakhs 
192 okay so 192 okay so this was question a to d now for question e and f they have given at home so you will do it as a homework so question e and f is your homework then now here all the questions that they have shown you as at home please do it for homework for questions 1 to 4 whichever they have shown as at home in that square or the box do it all for homework now moving on to question number 2 write the numerals so they have given you number names so we have to write the numerals so 30 lakhs is given so 3 0 then 25,000 so 2 5 and then last 846 so 8 4 6 okay so this is how you write it in numerals then next one 91 crores 13 lakhs 10,245 okay so 91 crores so 9 1 then 13 lakhs okay then comma 10,000 10,245 so 245 this is how you write this in numerals then the next one this is given in international numerals so seven million five hundred forty thousand two hundred twenty three. So seven million put a comma, then five hundred forty thousand. So five forty thousand and two hundred twenty three. So two two three. So you put commas after every three digits in international system. Then twelve million seventy two thousand eighty one. So twelve million. Okay, then seventy two thousand. So hundred thousands place is zero then 72,000 and last is 81 okay uh, hundreds place is 0 again so 081 so 12,000 uh, 72,081 this is how you write then again as I told at home is for homework then question 3 in, uh, insert commas according to international system and write the place value of the color digits in each of the following so first we'll insert the commas so to insert the commas according to uh, international system we have to place commas after every three digits right so 523 comma 740 is how you write it then how will you uh, what they have asked write the place value of colored digits so place value of 5 here is place value of 5 is 5 is it hundreds thousands Place. so that will be 500,000 okay so this is the place value of 5 then question number B 412 then 08651 so after 41 we'll put a comma then 208 comma then 651 so after every three digits right so now place value of 4 they have asked now 4 is in 10 millions place so it will be place value will be 40 millions okay place value of 4 is 40 millions so you can write it like this 40 millions all right so this was question a and b now c is for homework again and then question number four write the expanded follow uh, expanded form following the indian system okay so that will be in lakhs 10 lakhs like that now first one expanded form how to write so we have 65 lakhs 24348 right so to write the expanded form what you'll do is you'll write the place value of each digit and then put a plus sign in between so for 6 we have the place value as 60 lakhs okay so this is 60 lakhs plus 5, 5 uh, place values 5 lakhs so this will be 5 lakhs then 20,000 plus place value of 4 is 4,000 place value of 3 is 300 and place value of 4 is 40 and 8 is 8 itself so this is the expanded form then question number b okay so you just write the place value of each digit and add them now next one we have 2 crores 74 lakhs 50,174 
So first two crores. So how many crores, zeros are there in crores? We have seven zeros. So two, then you put seven zeros plus seven lakhs. So seven lakhs will have how many zeros? It will have six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then plus four lakhs. Okay. Plus we have fifty thousand. Then plus okay, I'll write it here, continue it here, plus fifty thousand plus a zero in ten thousands place, so that will be zero only. Hundreds place is one, so hundred plus seventy plus four. Okay, so this is a place value of question B. All right, so this was large numbers. Now, uh, as I told you, complete all these at home questions for your homework. So E and F for question one, E and F for question two, question C for question number three and four. All right, so complete this much for your homework, and then we'll continue with comparison of numbers in the next class. Okay, thank you.